Some of the major enemy of natural hair, especially type 4 hair, are single strand knots, split ends, and tangles. At least for me, I hate seeing single strand knots on my hair, and I'm sure I speak also for some other people who doesn't just like seeing their hair having single strand knots or split ends, as these are the major enemies of natural hair. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can prevent single strand knots and split ends. So I have two methods in which I prevent my hair from having single strand knots and split ends. So one of those methods could be trimming my ends. So trimming my ends could come as a schedule or could come whenever I feel like I have single strand knots. So I could just trim on a schedule or even trim before I experience any form of knots. So that would mean me having to trim maybe like half an inch or one inch of my hair maybe like once in a year. So that would give me an edge over any form of knots. Like I said, once a year is enough because guys, you don't want to keep cutting half an inch or one inch of your hair every month. No, that will, you know, not help you to retain length. Preferably at the beginning of the year, you can trim off um, half an inch or one inch of your hair if you feel that your ends are not the healthiest. So keeping your hair healthy and nice and even is a great way to start the year and also a great way to retain length also. Then the second method would be search and destroy which I am doing in today's video. As you can see, I'm not trimming the ends of my hair, I'm only checking out for knots and wherever I feel that I have knots, that is when I, you know, I cut off the knots. So I might not find knots in a particular section and I will just leave that hair alone. But each twist I pick up and I find some knots, I just clip that knot away. So cutting off that individual knot, we prevent it from, you know, tangling itself up with other strands of hair and forming even bigger knots. But you can also avoid trimming your ends or even doing this search and destroy method if you can just do these three simple steps that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. And one of those things would be keeping your hands properly sealed. You have to seal your ends properly. This is to help prevent them from coiling up on each other. Because by the time your ends are not sealed properly, either with a thick oil or a, an air butter, you're going to find that your hair tends to coil up on each other. That will make it easy for you to form single strand knots. So you have to make sure that you see your ends properly, either with your oil or an air butter. Then the second thing would be that you have to keep your ends always tucked away. By the time you leave your hair out all of the time, your hair is going to be rubbing on your shoulders, on your cotton shirt, or and the weather element also affects the ends, how the ends of our hair behave. So you want to make sure to always keep the ends of your hair tucked away because that will also prevent your hair from forming knots and tangles. Then the third thing would be to always make sure to use a satin bonnet or a pillowcase when you want to sleep. Um, rubbing your hair against a cotton pillow or a cotton scarf could also cause your hair to form knots and tangles. So what I do is to always wear my satin bonnet or my silk scarf each time I want to lay down. So even if I don't use a satin pillowcase or a silk pillowcase, I always make sure to have my satin bonnet on. And that will also prevent the friction between my hair strands and prevent me from having unnecessary knots and split ends. So guys, if you have not been doing any of these things that I've mentioned, 
you want to start doing them now because trust me you don't want to have single strand knots on your hair you don't want to have split ends because the ends of your hair are going to thin out with time and it's going to look as if you have heat damage So guys, these are the few steps I wanted to share with you guys today. As you can see, I'm also doing my due diligence of taking out any knots on my hair before I style my hair. So I don't have to trim any inch away from my hair. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about single strand knots, split ends and tangles because guys trust me i hate those things so guys i will see you in my next video please do like share this video subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so and i'll see you in my next one bye